Hi, I'm Miss Annabelle and I teach at Dunlop Elementary School in South Seattle. I work with teachers and young scholars like you on lots of things, including noticing how our emotions, bodies, and brains all work together. It is paying attention to what is happening right now with kindness and curiosity. A part of this is being aware of what we see, hear, think, and feel. This is how we learn and grow, whether we are little like you or grown up like me. And that's what I'm here to talk to you about today. When I was your age, when I would play games or practice reading, sometimes it went well and sometimes it didn't. It felt great to win a game or get the words that I read right. And it didn't feel very good when I didn't win or I messed up on my reading. But that is totally okay and totally normal. But the thing is that if we focus only on the end result and not on how we got there, we don't learn as much. Every day, there's so much to learn, which is what makes life interesting. So the more we look at everything we do as a chance to learn and grow, the more we do learn and grow. The next time you're about to do something, get yourself ready to think about what you will learn by making an open shape with your body and saying, I am going to learn something here. Okay, so let's try that. You are about to do something. So open shape. I'm going to learn something here. Yeah, that's how you do it. Now, another way to keep learning is to stop and notice our body. Try that with me. If you're standing, pause, notice your feet on the ground and how your feet and the ground support you. Take a few breaths and notice how your body is feeling. Then say to yourself, what are you learning now? Now, if you're sitting, pause. Notice your bottom in your chair and how your bottom and chair supports you. Take a few breaths and notice how your body is feeling. Then ask yourself, what are you learning right now? Another way to learn after we do something is to think back on what went well and what you want to change next time. Like maybe you spilled your milk or your juice, which we all do, but you can say, Hmm, next time I want to hold it tighter and keep walking carefully from the fridge to the table. The best way to keep learning and growing, is to be kind to ourselves. If we say to ourselves unkind things like, I am so stupid because I spilled the juice, then we don't give ourselves the chance to learn. Instead, we need to be kind and curious with ourselves. Curious means asking questions in a kind way. Now try it with me. I am a great kid and all kids and grown ups spill sometimes. What can I try next time that is different? Or you can say, I am an awesome kid, or I am awesome, and I am learning every day to be careful with things. What is it like to be kind like this to yourself? Okay, so let's go over it again. You can start by standing in an open shape and say, I am going to learn something here. You can stop and notice your body and the learning while you're in it. And you can think back about what you learned with kindness and curiosity. Remember, every day we are learning. Thank you. Bye.